Yes, uh, these two concepts I want to mention, I'm going to use this particular question that I found somewhere and I think it'll be helpful. The first concept is something about the shortest distance between two points which are on opposite sides of the Earth's surface. The other concept is uh, the whole idea of knots, that is speed in nautical miles per hour. And so to begin with, uh, we need to just start tackling the question using some previous concepts that I mentioned in the first, in the, in the first lesson. So now we have the points P, Q and R given there. And so we are told to first of all find the distance from P to Q in kilometers per hour. And so let's start by imagining the shape of the earth as so it's a model, a perfect sphere. We know that the earth's not a perfect sphere, but we normally assume that it is so that we use that concept to we use that to to apply the concepts of distances along the earth's surface. So the first arc that I've indicated there is the 40 degrees north. It's 40 degrees north. And the next one there is a 35 degrees north. And then I have two other meridian that meridians that I have indicated there. And that one is uh, 45 degrees west and 135 degrees east. So I need to mention that uh, 45 degrees west and 135 degrees east are two points which are on opposite sides of the Earth's surface because the angle difference is, is 180. The reason is because from 45 to 0 degrees and again from 0 up to 135 will be the same as 45 plus 30, 135 which will be a total of 180. So it's as though you are in a place where you see the points, let me go to points uh, Q and R. Yeah, those points there. From Q to R, there are two points which are on opposite sides of the Earth's surface through which the angle difference is 180. And that's, a, the, that's a, the thing we needed to have so that I cement the idea I wanted to mention about shortest distance to point, between two points when they are on opposite sides of the Earth's surface. Now, as we tackle the first question there, I need to mention, of course, as we were told earlier, that the radius is 6370. And so first of all, let's imagine the Earth's surface as though we are looking at the Earth from space. The meridian where we have the points P, Q and R, the one which is red over here, will be like a continuous circle if you're looking at it from the from space. The, the first straight line there will be representing the equator. The next one will be 35 degrees north. The next one will be 40, 40 degrees north. And of course, this is the Earth's axis. So. I want you to imagine the Earth looking at like this. If you're looking at it from space, you are at a point where the 45 degrees west, 135 degrees east is a continuous circle. And of course, now the latitudes will be straight lines perpendicular to the Earth's surface, uh, to the, Earth, the Earth's axis, as I have indicated there. Now, the other thing I need to imply is uh, the angle difference there. Now, since the first one here is 40 degrees north, which is that one, and the, the next arc, which is a straight line here, is 35 degrees, it means there's an angle at the center of the earth which is subtended, and it's 5 degrees. The reason is, this first line here subtends an angle of 40, the next one subtends an angle of 35, so if you take a total of 40 minus 35, the difference will be 5 degrees, so we have 5 degrees subtended at the end of the earth, so the distance is not in kilometers per hour, will just be operated using the concept we did in the first lesson. Now, first of all, please understand that this is a great circle sort of question. We are moving from point P to Q, which is a, a distance along a great circle. Reason is, it's along a meridian. Which one? 45 degrees west. The, the formula is, is a theta over 36 times 2 pi r. We can refer to the first lesson. Now, I just mentioned that theta is 5 degrees and r is given, which is 6370. So please put the values in formula and the answer will be 555.96 kilometers and that's just straightforward. The next part is uh, we're told to give the, to find the answer in nautical miles in part B of the question. Find the, find nautical miles. So how will it be? A distance along a great circle is just theta times 60 where theta is not, is um, the angle difference. In our case it's 5. So it's 5 times 60, simply 300 nautical miles. Just in case you want to convert this one, 300 nautical miles to kilometers per hour, you'll need to multiply by 1.853. If you want to convert 555.96 kilometers to nautical miles, you'll divide by 1.853. 
but there's no need it's it's easy to operate the question this way although i indicated earlier that the answers will not be exactly the same if you do the conversion because um the 1.853 is actually an approximation since it's rounded off there could be other decimals after the, the three well having said that about part a and b we need to go to the big part of the lesson really and i wanted now to look at the shortest distance between points q and r q and r they are along 35 degrees north uh, latitude now the reason we won't tackle this question is there are two options you can go up to north pole and come down to r or you can move across the latitude so our question will be which one is shorter which one is shorter and so we begin now to think about the shortest distance between the two points I wanted us to use these two models and move uh, down until we find which one is shorter this is that five degrees north the same thing as this uh, and this line here is the equator which is the same as that this red continuous circle here represents for five degrees west 135 degrees east meridians continued until they form a circle they are the same red things we have here, the same uh, reds here the forming an oval but you see this second case here is we are looking at the earth as though it's a sphere here we are looking at it from space okay now um yes uh, th those two lines this one is a straight line looking at like a straight line when you're looking at the earth from space that five degrees north here it's an arc since it's a sphere the model of a sphere and uh, there is there are two ang angles at the center of the earth this is 35 degrees so there's an angle of 35 this is 35 degrees there because from this line again to this point is 35 and so there's an angle that is left out there and that angle we look at it later but you can always know it this all of it is 180 this is 35 and that's 35 so let's have that those pictures in our minds now we have the points q and r points q and r we want to move from q to r this first case here i want us to go through the north pole this second case i want us to go through the latitude 35 degrees north so i think we begin the first case here that's the case on your left we are operating through a great circle and the, the formula for great circle is is, is easy we we known we have known it it's a theta times 60. theta is the angle difference and that's what i want us to mention at some point what's the angle difference here please understand that there's an angle of 35 here which gives us the latitude of that five degrees north the same thing also happens on the other side so we have 35 here this is also 35 that means the angle difference here which is the angle between this and that that angle difference there will be 180 minus that 235 in other words 180 minus 2 times 35 which is 110 degrees all right so the formula will be now 110 times 60 which is 660 nautical mass that's very easy we are looking for the distance along a great circle it's just, just theta times 60 and theta in our case is 110 because the angle difference is the upper part of it and that tells you that if we are looking for distance say along 40 degrees north this angle difference would have been would have had a 40 here a 40 here so we'd have 180 minus 2 times 40 which would be 180 minus 80 which is 100 and so that case always applies every case so the distance from q to r through the north pole is 600 6600 nautical miles if we consider the same thing through a small circle we have some other things to consider and let's begin the formula first of all is theta times 60 times cos phi theta is angle difference in our case angle difference here will be 180 why first of all consider the fact that uh, this meridian here is 135 degrees east and the other one this one is one that the other one is uh, 45 degrees west so the angle difference really is 180 because we move from 45 all the way to zero then from zero all the way to 135 so we are actually adding 45 and 135 to get 180 so theta is 180 cos phi we say it is the cost of that particular latitude and that particular latitude is 35 degrees so put the values in the formula uh, we get um, 180 times 60 times cos 35 which is 8846.84 nautical miles so which one is bigger no doubt if you are moving across wise this way if you are moving along the latitude the distance will be longer than moving through the north pole 
and that gives us a conclusion that we can always use. Whenever we are moving from two points, which are on opposite sides, whose angle difference is 180, we better go through either the North Pole or the South Pole, respectively, but not through the latitude. The latitude is longer than the other two. And I think having said that, we now need to move to the last part of the lesson. Now, what's the time difference between using the two routes? First of all, we need to consider what knots are. I just need to define this. Knots really means speed in miles per hour. All right? Knots is just speed per hour. In is speed in miles per hour. And therefore, I need to say that uh, speed in nautical miles divided by speed in nautical miles um, per hour is what we call knots. And so we just have speed in nautical miles will be distance in miles divided by time in hours. This, this should be... It should be time. So it's just uh, speed not equal miles per hour. It's uh, just distance in miles per hour divided by, by by time in hours. And this is just the same thing we normally use, the same case for kilometers per hour, only that we're now using miles, not kilometers. When we use miles, we call it knots. When we use kilometers, we call it kilometers per hour. And that's the, the idea. Let's go to the question. Therefore, we were told earlier that uh, speed is four 420 nautical miles. We also told that the distance uh, the shorter distance was 6,000 nautical miles. The, short, the longer one was 8,273.228 nautical miles. Therefore, distance, therefore, time will be distance of a speed in both cases. And so we go ahead and have um, the first case, 6,000 divided by 420, which will be 14.286 hours. And it's 14 hours and 17 minutes. The second case, we're going to have 8,273.28 nautical miles divided by 420, which is 19.7 hours, which is uh, 17 hours, 42 minutes. So the time difference is just subtraction of the two of them there. And the it will be 19 hours, 42 minutes, minus 14 hours, uh, 17 minutes. The answer is uh, 5 hours and 25 minutes. That's the difference in terms of time that someone will take if they either use the short, the longer route or the shorter route. And, and that's basically it. And so that brings us to the end of uh, the whole concept that I wanted to tackle in longitude and latitudes. I, rem I remember I began by showing you the distances, distances between two points along the earth's surface, uh, in which lesson, first of all, I defined the great and a small circle. I said that a small circle is uh, all latitudes except the equator. Longitudes are all longitudes, which we also call meridians, plus the equator are called uh, great circles. We operated that. The second part of the lesson was about... Uh, Longitude and time, how longitudes are used to determine time, and, and basically that. The last part has been this particular lesson here, where we have tackled something about um, shortest distance between two places on the Earth's surface, and also um, speed in nautical mass per hour, which we normally call knots. Having said that, I hope it's been helpful. Uh, please like, subscribe, and also share, and I'll appreciate your comments. Check out also for my other tutorial coming next, the last one on uh, statistics. I'll appreciate uh, your view. Thank you.